Good morning. Today we're fishing in an area on the east coast called Palm Coast. Palm Coast has a lot of good fishing right in the intercoastal and up along its banks, but also if you find you some creeks that go back into some nice marshlands, you can find some good fishing there as well. Now it's late summer, which is not the best time of the year to actually uh, try to fish these areas. With the heat and low oxygen in the water, it can be some tough fishing. It makes it good for snook and tarpon in this area, but the problem is we got such a brutal winter time that I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of snook back in here, but I can be hopeful about that. So we're looking for redfish mainly back in here. It's low tide. That can be a good thing, but I think today we're going to do a lot better once some of that uh, good clean salt water pumps in on the high tide. I think we'll do a lot better. So we're just going to keep looking around here, throwing a top water because there's a lot of oysters and see what we can find. I know he's standing his ground. I might not want none of that. He started coming at me like, whoa. Okay, you win. I thought I was, I was gonna fly off. Whoa. Good God, he is. <laughs> Your drag might be a little loose. Huh? Your drag is a little loose, I think. There you go. There you go. You're good, you're good. Yeah, this is a nice one here. I put it on YouTube. <laughs> here, Bradley, come towards me to get out of the fish's way because it might come to at you. Oh, I'm not breaking the line doing that. He ain't ready to come in yet. Nope. That was so beautiful, too. Did you get it? Did you get it? Not the tape. You got him good at all. You don't have to. I thought he was bigger than that. I just had him badly hooked. We got our limit. <laughs> I didn't take it out. You got yours out? Yeah, want a bugger? Yeah. Okay. Good God. He's got that hook good. 